Hey guys, it's Postbox Pat. Welcome back to a new video. And today I want to talk about the storyline regarding season seven and where we are currently at with it, because we've got some interesting things going on in the game at this moment in time. But not only that, I want to give you guys a shout out right now on screen for everybody who's been recently supporting me with my support and creator code. Again, every storyline and map change video, I'll always give you guys shout outs. So if you want to shout out, remember to go and tweet me at Postbox Pat on Twitter with a picture of you purchasing something with my support credit code and I always recommend purchasing something that you actually want in the game rather than purchasing something maybe you don't want that so much which just makes it a win-win situation if you purchase something that you actually want and it helps me out which is really awesome so that's what I recommend with the item shop and that but yeah let's jump straight into this video and start talking about the storyline now the first thing I want to aim at with this video is the Ice King himself the Ice King is a amazing character and really does stand out in the Fortnite storyline a lot of people have been asking how wasn't he detected previously and what is going on with the Ice King's lair and where is he from? So the Ice King himself, from what I know, has been buried in an iceberg for a very long time. Neither Lynx or her assistant or even Sergeant Winter knew really much about the Ice King until the actual mountain started to melt or the iceberg, should I say. And then we saw that the lights were turned on over in the distance sometimes and stuff like that was going on. Some crazy stuff regarding the Ice King. And from what I know, maybe Sergeant Winter is teamed up with him. We don't want 100% no. But regarding the Infinity Blade, which was actually found inside of the actual mountain itself in this kind of podium right here, obviously it's been removed from the game as I'm making this video, we'll probably see it be re-added in as some sort of buff or well obviously not a buff a nerf most likely because a lot of people have been complaining but it's going to be added in with a nerf eventually in the future and probably more weapons to come as well in the future but regarding the actual map itself we know that the infinity blade will reappear and that was related to the ice king the ice king was kind of the wielder should i say the person who weld or wield whatever you want to call it the infinity blade he was actually the one who did that so we noticed different variations of the ice king as well so he has different outfits so there's quite a lot of stuff going on in the map which is pretty crazy which is interesting as well regarding the ice king and the season seven storyline so we've got a lot of stuff going on regarding that now there are other characters on the map as well which have a impact on this we have the Lynx skin, which has a huge impact on it because she has been researching at the base for a very long time. And this is the next point I want to bring up. Did they even know about the Ice King up there? And the answer to that question is still left unknown. But from the Ice King being buried in an iceberg, I assume they probably didn't have a clue at all. We can see here, it says something like coming soon, maybe. I don't know exactly what it says, but it says like something's going to happen very, very soon. Interesting that she has a list of stuff. She also has some stuff from the Fortnite map that is kind of being in the map and being done with so for example season uh, six here and then even the Durberger stuff maybe from a previous season some stuff in here from different seasons season four over here so she has some stuff so obviously she's known about the Fortnite map for a very long time but we don't know if she's known about the ice king which is interesting now what else comes in line with that is also the submarine now the submarine itself is somehow on this weird iceberg not many people know how that's happened it is Fortnite, so it could have happened in any sort of at all but the most interesting thing is what makes me think this has got stuck here is there was once water on this section of the map so for example this iceberg which has kind of all been crashed together i'd say i wouldn't say this is what the map wherever this island has come from used to look like wherever it was i feel like it's all been crashed together and that's how it's all formed so for example this here has been crashed together with an iceberg tip put straight through it from inside the sea and it's been eventually been all like squashed together and pushed in that's why there are certain locations that look like they've been completely trashed we also have trogue who's in the storyline as well who's a kind of yeti type monster and his base is actually located on this side of the map over here inside of this cave which you guys can actually check out if you guys want to see where trogue's base is it's just over here and you can pop inside of here and see what is going on in here from what i know it just looks like he's having a chill time it doesn't look like he's actually doing anything I can't see anything major going on. There is still something in the storyline which makes me think these teddy bears do have an impact on the storyline. But again, that's an entirely new video that I could make talking about that. Are the teddy bears to do with the Fortnite storyline? I don't know. The teddy bears are pretty cool, but 
that's something kind of like an Easter egg. If you guys remember Modern Warfare 2, they used a lot of teddy bears in their Easter eggs. So I guess Fortnite's kind of going on that line with the Easter eggs and the teddy bears and stuff. We also have this house here, which is rumored to be Sergeant Winter's house. I can't 100% confirm that because when I look at this, it feels like it's the Season 7 trailer house. But I'm not 100% sure on it. So let me know down below in the comment section if you believe this is Sergeant Winter's house or not. Interesting house, but I don't know exactly if that is his house or not. Now, there's a lot of other points I want to make in this video, which are very important points for the storyline and the future of Fortnite. So let's jump into a few of these because these are pretty major. So the next one I've got is these emblems that you can see on screen right now. Now, these emblems do indicate a few different things. They're only standard emblems released from the kind of original Fortnite update, the kind of standard emblems you can equip to your character, but they hint stuff that's happening in Fortnite. Now, if you guys didn't know already, Fortnite actually developed their seasons in advance by two to three seasons in advance. And if you look at this, you can see stuff on here which has happened in previous seasons. And bear in mind, these standard emblems have been in the game since release. We can see there's a cube. We can see there's even a rocket. We can even see the swirls in the sky and a few other things. My friend Henry actually linked me to this one. This is an interesting, very, well, a very interesting concept, shall we say. And we do have a few different things going on with it. We can also see a few other things as well. If you look down at the bottom, looks like we've got waves coming, maybe even a nuke. So there's some crazy stuff which could happen in Fortnite regarding this. And if you can see where I'm getting at with it, previous things in these emblems have happened and there are things still to come in these emblems that haven't happened yet in Fortnite. So could we see the Whaling Woods Bunker finally in action to protect us from maybe a nuclear attack on the Fortnite map? Who knows? We don't exactly know if that is the case. Who knows? The visitor could send in anything from the past or from space and just kind of attack us with these huge explosions which would be crazy because there is some crazy stuff in fortnite they could do anything at all so we'd have to see where that's going to take us but back to the actual fortnite map we've got this as well that i haven't picked up on which is a map change it's kind of like a uh, face kind of like an iceberg type face which is interesting it looks like a giant teddy bear when you look at it uh, which is interesting so maybe again linking to the teddy bear storyline but not 100% sure on that. We'll keep going around the map because there are a few other things as well. We also have the grass that is currently growing back in Paradise Palms. This is something I've mentioned through my map change videos in the last few weeks. It's not really a major change, but potentially could lead to something in the storyline relating to Paradise Palms becoming maybe a moist in Maya once again. Obviously, it won't become moist in Maya, but you know, you get the idea. It could potentially grow back grass onto Paradise Palms for a future Fortnite storyline, which would be very, very interesting. The credit for this one will be down below and the map actually indicates to us what would have happened if the meteorite never struck Dusty Divot, hence never spawning in the visitor. And you can see they've gone into great detail with this showing that the map changes that are currently in the game would still be there, some of them, but some of them wouldn't, which is very interesting. You can see that Moisty would still be there, Paradise would have never existed, the cube would have never existed. Uh, there's a few other things as well, Viking Village, Greasy Grove would still be there, Viking Village would never existed. There's so many little things in this that are really awesome, Haunted Hills never existed existed loads of locations that would have never need to existed if that meteorite did not hit dusty so that is an awesome post there again link down below for the credit on that one i really did like that now a few things i have been noticing around the fallen map which i want to pick up on it again is the leaky lake stuff because i've seen that leaky lake in a few of my videos that i've recently done hasn't been rendering properly now usually when you get something that's not rendering properly for example a blank render like we had at risky in one of my first map change videos it hinted the block now itself should i say leaky lake has had a few render issues in the past when it first got changed and seeing a render issue in one of my recent videos really did hint to me and when I say these render issues, they're kind of where the map goes grey and nothing else is there. It's just like a blank space, like something else could happen. It kind of hints to me that maybe this is going to freeze over or something is going to change regarding the Season 7 storyline throughout the next few weeks. So it's an interesting thing. Hopefully we could get something on the lines of this. Regarding future map changes, I know a lot of you guys are interested in that. We can probably expect a few other things to happen as well. For example, Der Burger and Tomato Head have been rumored to continue moving around the map. The reason for that is, is because when I was using the creative mode uh, on the actual island, I ended up picking up them trucks, taking them into the snow biome to try something out. And some weird stuff did happen with these trucks. Interesting concept, these trucks actually gained snow on top of them. Now, if I can grab a screenshot for you guys, I will add it on screen right now so you know that is interesting and it kind of hints to us that potentially this location could eventually get a new Derberger. i've actually gone ahead and rebuilt this on my channel which is really awesome so you know 
hopefully we could get a brand new Der Burger location being built here in the future. If you guys haven't already checked that video out, check it out. It is a very interesting video. Now, obviously, there's a lot of theories and rumors in the community that this location is just going to be a standard Christmas store, which would make perfect sense. But it is possible to set a Der Burger up here as I made it possible in that video. Again, I recommend checking that out because basically I rebuilt Der Burger inside a retail row and it worked out perfectly fine. So it is a possibility. Same with Tomato Town. I also rebuilt Tomato Town inside of Tilted Towers. And if you guys are wondering about my building skills and regarding the future of Fortnite as well, I have attempted to build a block design and the next episode for that will be popping tomorrow, which is almost the final episode. The third episode is basically the final one and the fourth one is just going to be kind of like a collage or montage of the actual map to try and get Epic to kind of check it out. So yeah, the block itself looks like, you can see that, see that map render there, that gray map render there there you can see on screen that's what i mean what happened to risky to me the uh, no, uh, yeah risky uh, and it happened to loot lake before the changes were introduced and also the other day it happened to me at loot lake so that's what i'm trying to hint at when you see that map change in a replay mode or even in a fortnite game it means there could be a live change happening so you know interesting so i've been working on the block uh, the downside to the block is we've been having a few issues with the renders. But I hope you guys have enjoyed today's video. Don't forget to leave a like, comment, subscribe. If you are new around here, please do stick around for daily Fortnite content. And if you want to stay up to date with Fortnite Battle Royale storyline and map change content, remember hit that subscribe button and that notification bell. Don't forget to go and support me in the item shop with my creator code Postbox Pat. And once again, this is Postbox Pat signing out.